Hello and welcome back to the Battery Test Channel. Today we're going to be looking at this Anchor... Hey, wait a minute, aren't you forgetting something? Well, we've made an upgrade to the channel, and hopefully you're able to hear a big difference. This is my first time using a professional-ish quality microphone, so if you have any tips and tricks, please do let me know. I do have it on a boom, I have a pop filter and all the good stuff, but hey, I still have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. Anyway, continuing on. So today we're looking at this... Take a deep breath. It is the Anchor Power Core Fusion Power Delivery Battery and Wall Charger. That's a hell of a name. That's not a name. That's, I don't know, that's a description. Kind of reminds me of German where you assemble words together to describe um, a functioning object, such as a refrigerator being a cold tank. I'm not making this up. Look it up. Anyway, this is the Anchor 16 A1622. So it combines a 30 watt USB PD Type C port as well as a 12 watt USB type A port. So I'm guessing this is five volts, 2.4 amps. And of course, power delivery can change the voltage and gives you whatever amperage to give you the 30 watt output. Now, what it doesn't tell you, um, I have, I, I've opened up the package, but I haven't looked at the details yet. What it doesn't tell you is, will it do both at the same time? Or how does that work? All right, let's unbox this thing. And like I said, I have opened this up, but I've yet to use it. Nice and shiny. Well, it looks like a, we, we have a chrome edge on this thing. I don't think I've seen that before. So I like that this says PD, uh, power delivery, and then IQ. I really don't know what Anchor's IQ is, intelligent something something. Uh, we'll find out. So it looks like this product is completely dead, which is somewhat rare. I'm used to seeing about a 30 to 50% charge. So it looks like the label was a little hard to read, so I decided to take a picture. Here we see that this battery pack has an 18.15 watt hour capacity. On the top, above that clamshell line, you have the USB-C and Type-A output when it's plugged in. You see it says charger mode, and below you have the battery mode. In charger mode, you have on the Type-C output, you have 5, 9, 15, and 20, which is great which means you can plug in a laptop, such as the M1 MacBook Pro, and that's going to run all day long on 30 watts. Down below, you have battery mode output, and somewhat surprisingly, although I shouldn't be surprised given that in the picture, it shows battery mode and charger mode, and it shows a laptop only plugged into charger mode. So I'll put that in the video as well. Let's resume our review. Uh, let's take a closer look at this battery pack. So it looks like it has a recessed, but non-replaceable, or rather, I don't know what you call uh, the removable aspect. Well, actually, here we have the Apple charger. You can pop this off, let's see if I can do this on camera, and replace this with a cable, which is really nice. Don't quite have that here. Um, this would have to hang into a wall, and sometimes when you got this plugged in, it can generate a little bit of torque, but I love that it's thin, so when you're plugging in, Plug it into something um, like this handy dandy anchor uh, power strip. It only takes up one slot. You're not taking up two slots. So that's kind of nice. And as I mentioned, this thing's completely dead. So let's charge this up and let's let me show you what kind of power it draws. And we're off to the races with a fairly dismal four watts of charging. And this is power coming from the wall. And I'm not sure what's going on here. I ran this test several times. This thing has a 5 amp hour 21700 cell charging at less than 1C. So after running multiple tries, I'm going to give this an F. This thing takes 5 hours and 20 minutes to charge, and you barely get a large iPhone fully charged with a full charge. So this is a fail for me. Okay, so let's now take a look at the discharge characteristics of this pack. We start off at 2.3 amps, 4.9 volts. Works out to about 11 watts, but then we don't want to push this 18 watt hour pack too much. So right about seven, seven and a half watt hours, we switch, switch over to a one amp draw. And then we carry this on till we drain the pack of 14.5 watt hours, or about 80% of its rated capacity, which is really pretty good. Now, final verdict, I'm just not sure that this pack is worth the size and then the fact that it really doesn't put out too much power but I'll let you be the final judge of that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.